Good morning. Uh, my name is Geronda Miller Bryant. Um, I um, have a question about the aftermath. I actually went to grad school here in Greensboro for two years and didn't know that this place existed. So I agree that, you know, this isn't the narrative that you're told when you're moving here. You just you just hear about like all of the good stuff. So I never heard this particular story. Um, I wanted to ask about um, what was the immediate aftermath like after no after the um, the killings that happened here. Um, you know, in Charlottesville, you know, there was some fear among some people, you know, there was a lot of conversations and things like that. But how did the, I know the commission happened much later, but right after the, um, the incident that happened, what did the community feel like and what was the response? So thank you for that question. Um, right after this event, there were just, there was a mixture of um, responses, but most of there was fear because this happened at 11 in the morning approximately. There have been some things about 88 <coughs> seconds that it took to kill those five people and wound um, 10 other people, terrorize the neighborhood. Those of us who were immediately impacted did not know whether we would subsequently be killed. Um, we had uh, at that point a seven and eight year old daughter. Um, I think Shirley's children were there, Walena's kids were there, Sydney's kids were there because we were having a rally about worker justice and education, the changing educational system where it was just about a test as opposed to really quality education for young people and people were coming from all over the state. So massive fear have told me subsequently about they were not even associated with it, but they left town. They had the privilege of going and getting a hotel somewhere. It's like, what is going on? The Klan in 1979, though that's almost 40 years ago. Now, it's still people thought this was over. Um, but also, there was just a, a massive changing of the story. I can recall now, I think we have some news too, people here um, being invited by Susan Kidd, who later was on um, the DC CBS channel. She was an um, African-American woman at the station. She knew it. She would go with us to rallies about African liberation and all this type of thing, housing struggles. She invited me to come over to the station. Nelson was in jail. I feared his life. I wasn't sure I'd ever see him again. Um, and as I went into the station to be interviewed, I saw our then mayor talking to the TV folk and pretty much reshaping the story. That it was a shootout. And that we there were these outside agitators. At that point, I'd lived in town for several years. As I said, we had a seven and eight year old, so I guess we've been married about 10, 11 years. And we have worked so hard in this community around justice issues primarily. But all of a sudden, we were outsiders. We would go to places and folk would move because they thought we were the purveyors of the violence. And even those who knew not came later and told me, I knew it wasn't y'all, but I was scared I would get killed. Because if y'all got killed, if they went after Nelson Johnson, then in all of what he'd done in the community trying to make things better, I knew that my life was in danger. We had to move out of our home for safety. Yet when we went to try to rent other places, people wouldn't rent to us because they were afraid that Klan and Knoxes would show back up. So a bunch of us just huddled into two or three houses and made it. Many of us lost our jobs. I was one of the few people who kept my job. I was on the faculty of the School of Business at A&T. And my um, dean, who's from Alabama, said he was visited by the it was either SBI or FBI, I'm not sure whom. And he was ordered to fire me. And he said, I'm not. She's done the great, there's no basis. And I know who the Klan is, I'm from Alabama. He said, if you're gonna make me fire her, you're gonna fire me first. So there were different little stands people took. But it was a lot of pressure. There were people who would protect our children at school for fear they would come after them. So it was a lot of fear and pressure Folk who were associated with us lost their jobs for just no reason. So it was a real shutdown, an effort to isolate. But again, I have to say the spirit 
the love of people comes up out of there. 